Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this series we're going to be creating a number to words converter. So let's have a little demonstration. So what this will do is it'll take any number you have that's below a certain limit. Then once you convert it, it converts it to the word representation of that number. So let's add a few zeros here, then now it becomes 8,700. And then becomes this number. The upper limit I've created is 1 trillion, so the page will say it's too big, it must be below or equal to 1 trillion, and then it releases an error. Alright, so let's get started. So head into your index.html file, I've already done a little bit here. All this does is it sets the title, so just have that there. Then we have the jQuery CDN, you can find that just by going to Google then copying the CDN straight from the internet. This just allows you to use the jQuery library in your JavaScript file. So copy that, add that into your index.html file, and then also link to your app.js file as well. It's in the same directory. So now let's create the body. So within the body, we're gonna have a form. So first let's create a div. This div will just represent content, class equals content. Then we're going to have a form. This form will just take the number that we're going to convert. So the ID will equal form. We're going to create a label. This is for num input. We're going to create the num input in just a second. And the, the text of this label will be number to convert. And then we're going to have the input. Type will be number, so you can only put a number inside of here. The ID will be num input. And the name will be num input as well. And we're just going to put two BRs over here, BR tags. This will just add extra space underneath here, just make it look a little better. And then we're going to add the last input. This will just be a submit button. So type equals submit. And the value, which is just the text, will equal convert. OK. And lastly, we're going to have a P tag. The ID will equal changed num. And the text will just be converted number. Okay, that's really all we need for our HTML document. If you head to that, as you can see, it creates the same thing we have on the other page right here. So now let's actually get into the meat of the code. So head into your app.js file. First thing we're going to do is use a little bit of jQuery. Say document dot ready function this just specifies that once the document has finished loading all of the assets are finished loading then do whatever's inside of this function so within this function we're going to define a few variables the first variable will be form so var form is equal to dollar and then form this just references the form that we created within our index.html document then we're going to need a, lump, a num limit, so var num limit. I made this one trillion. You can really make it whatever you want. The code that we're going to be writing works for any any number, the, any size of number that you want. So one trillion is just one with 12 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's our num limit. Then num text. This num text will just be the final text of our word. So say we put an 87, this will be the words 80 hyphen seven. Then now we need a few dictionaries that store basic numeric values. So this will store numeric values such as like one, two, numbers that you can't really generate procedurally or, or with an algorithm. These are numbers that you just need to remember. So I created a few dictionaries. 
we have the ones dictionary you can pause as I go over each one and then copy this down so we have ones we have tens the stores 10 through 19 then we have prefixes this store is like the 20 30 40 so we have like those prefixes as well Then we have the suffixes so so 1000 million billion trillion and remember to add this one and then the empty space as well because we're going to need that later on you'll see how we're going to need that as we progress through this tutorial and those are all the variables that we need so just going over it again we have ones tens the prefixes and the suffixes so next let's create the submit or let's create the listener for the submit action so we can actually get the number that the user submits so we can say form dot submit function e then e dot prevent default what this does is it prevents the default action of that submit button so the default action might be to reload the page it just prevents that default action and allows us to do whatever we want once that once that event has happened so e dot prevent default then we're going to reset num text so num text is equal to an empty space because num text might change as we go through this then var num is equal to num input dot eval all this does is it gets the it gets whatever's inside of that input box and puts it in this variable called num so now we actually have the number that the user wants to input then we're going to create var final num text and that will equal to convert num and num this convert num function is something that we're going to create it'll be the meat of our code it'll actually convert the number from text into words and then lastly we're going to put that on the page we're going to use a little bit of jQuery we're going to say hash changed num this just accesses the element with the change num ID then dot HTML so we're changing the inner HTML to converted number and then plus final num text all right so that's all we really need for this listener so now let's create the convert num function we're not going to create the entire function in this tutorial but we're going to create what we need for right now so function convert num and then we're going to need the absolute value of that number because if the user inputs a negative number then we're going to need to interpret the number regardless whether it has a negative or not so let's create var abs num that will equal to math dot abs absolute value of num and then we're going to create a try catch statement so try and so if the number is bigger than the limit we're going to throw an error so if num is greater than num limit then we're going to throw number is too big it must be below or equal to and we're going to just add the num limit and we're just going to say here one trillion because that's what our num limit is you can change this as it pertains to your code then we're going to catch this so we can say catch error we're going to alert this error that we just threw so it'll just alert all of this text right here so alert error 
and then we're going to return just the string error instead of any number that we might have created. All right. And then last thing we're going to do for this function in this video is just deal with the negative. So we're going to say if num dot to string. So this is converting the num to a string dot includes the negative sign and abs num. So the and if the absolute number of the value is not equal to zero. So if it contains a negative sign and it's not equal to zero, so if it's not negative zero, then num text plus equals the word negative with a space afterwards. All right, so let's save this and let's just test a little bit out on our file. So number to convert, let's just create a large number. If we convert that, as you can see, now we have the error that pops up as it should. And if we do anything less, it'll just produce undefined because we haven't returned anything. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. In the future videos, we're going to actually head into more of the algorithmic side of this project. But this is just to get us started and get the basic overview of how we can create this mm -hmm. down. And you can check out our GitHub at the end of this tutorial series. The entire code will be posted on our GitHub. Check out our Patreon as well. This has been Steam Code. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time.